guys, welcome back to the fun times with Brady, where every time is a fun time. So today, what we're going to be doing is rating movies. So yesterday, I rated games. No, I rated books yesterday. So today, I'm going to be rating some movies that I like. And we are going to start off by rating The Sandlot. Now, The Sandlot is um, a movie about a new kid who just moved into the neighborhood and he realized, like, he's just sitting on his front doorstep one day, and he's just so bored. And then this kid, um, I think his name is Benny, that kid right there, he is driving by, heading to the sandlot with um his uh bike and his baseball glove and a baseball. And um, anyways, he sees that kid on his doorstep, stops by, and says, um, did the kid from should uh come play ball with him at the uh. The sandlot. So um, he does go play with them at the sandlot. A lot of things happen because they like they like hang out together. It's not just at the sandlot, but that's what it's mainly about. And they got a dog, like a dog that's supposed to be like real mean, but it turns out it's actually a sweet dog. Here's the dog right here on the cover of it. You see that ball in his mouth? That ball was um belonged to. Uh, to Smalls, I guess you can call them, because that's what they called them in the movies. Like, you know, have you ever heard, like, You're Killing Me, Smalls? Well, that came from uh, this movie. And, um, anyway, Smalls had, um, knew his dad had a baseball signed by Babe Ruth. So he brought that baseball there to play baseball with him. And, uh, well, that baseball ended up into this dog's mouth. And it was all like shredded up and stuff. And uh, it turned out the owner of the dog, they thought that the owner of the dog was like real mean, like meaner than the dog was. But finally, the old man came out and, and he had a Babe Ruth ball. And it was signed by Babe Ruth and he gave it to the kids, which was like pretty nice. And it turns out he played with Babe Ruth. So, yeah, the um, I recommend uh, watching The Sand. Oh, it's a real good movie. Yeah, ready PG, so Roll the movie. The next movie that we are doing is Not at the Museum. Or it's Not at the Museum Secret of the Tomb. Now this one has Ben Stiller in it, uh has Ben Stiller, um Rebel Wilson, and um a guy who's supposed to be playing uh, I only know these two names, but I don't know his name. Let's see if I can find it on the uh, case real quick. Let's see. Okay, it says Ben Stiller. Oh, that's oh, that's Robin Williams. Okay, yeah. You got Ben Stiller, um, Ben Stiller, Rebel Wilson, and then Robin Williams. Robin Williams plays Teddy Roosevelt or Theodore Roosevelt. One of them, Teddy Roosevelt or Theodore Roosevelt. I can't remember. But um, anyways, one second. It says that this stars Ben Still, Rob Morms, Owen Wilson, Brad Wilson, and Ricky Gervais. Oh, that's oh okay, okay. Well, um, yeah, hey, that's Robin Williams, Rob Wilson, uh, Ben Stiller. Now, what it's about is you have a guy who works at the museum. His um, and well, when he's working there at night. You know, he's all by himself, so it's just him and, uh, well, this girl. And anyways, the thing, he realizes that things start to move around. Like, he checks the case, everything's there, he comes back later, gone. Then he realizes that, realizes that everything is, has come to life. And it's kind of, like, crazy for him, you know, just to see all that stuff come to life. Because it, like, to him, like, Theodore Roosevelt... Um, or Teddy Roosevelt should um have just been like just a wax statue that he was and uh or that he played in the movie, but no, he comes to life and um, you know like how the they had like the special tombs for mummies. Well, the mummies come to life. Like the think like um, what's his name? King Tut comes to life, and you also have like the dinosaurs. They come to life. Like, old, like, warriors, like, with their swords and stuff. And it's a really, it's a real funny movie. Yeah. And it's rated PG, just like the sound lot.
So now we're going to move on to the next one. This is one of my favorites. Uh, the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water. Um, it's very funny. I've seen this movie, like, tons of times. And, uh, what happens in it is, uh, Spongebob and, uh, Mr. Krabs and, uh, Plankton. Plankton attempts, again, to steal the, uh, Krabby Patty formula. And while he's trying to steal it, he has, like, all this, like, big tanks and stuff. So he breaks into the, um, uh, crusty crab and, um, hold on. I'm sorry, I had to pause real quick. Mm. Um, anyway, uh, Plankton is, um, attempting, uh, attempting again to steal the, the Krabby Patty formula, the secret Krabby Patty formula that nobody knows except for Mr. Krabs and his family. So, um. It ends up with like a battle where uh, Spongebob's tugging on this side and you got Plankton tugging on this side. They're both tugging the formula. Spongebob's trying to get it back to give it to Mr. Krabs. Plankton wants to steal it and, you know, make his, um, like, just to steal it and uh, use the recipe to make his, uh, the, um, the chum, the chum bucket, which is, according to Plankton, is supposed to serve good food. <laughs> And, uh, anyways, they're tugging on it, and it disappears. They don't know where it goes. So, anyways, the reason the movie's called the movie, the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water, is because they have to go above water. They realize that some guy has stole their, the Krabby Patty formula and is now using it to sell burgers on the shore. So, it's up to, um, Spongebob, Patrick, Plankton, um, and Mr. Krabs to get it back. And it's a real good adventure. And Sandy. And, I don't know if I already said Squidward, but yeah, Squidward. And now, the last one. Not, oh, actually, I'm running out of time on my camera, so I'm not going to have time to do this one. Um, but, um, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, bye guys.